Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well today. My name is Juliet Uzel and I thought I would do this video really quickly. I have this horrible, horrible ironing mat cover which I need to replace. I've tried washing it and getting it to look white again but it's just been a total fail. I recently picked up this piece of fabric and I thought I would replace it whilst having a chat with you today. I hope you're doing well. We haven't really had a proper chit chat. So I thought we'll do this quick video whilst I replace my ironing mat cover. Let me know if you use this ironing mat, I find it useful having it right by my sewing machine so I can press as I iron. I want to have a chat about the reasons why I actually got into sewing because, well, you know what? I'll just so sort out the machine whilst we chat. So I was having a chat sorry for the machine <laughs> I was having a chat with someone on Instagram recently and the conversation went down the line of why we actually started sewing and upon reflection I realized that I didn't actually start to sew to save money rather sewing has cost me quite a lot of money when I actually thought about it I realized that everything had to align and all those different problems came together, not only problems, but benefits as well, came together and made me to actually take learning how to sew seriously and consistently over the past few years. I start, I learned how to sew. Well, my first ever attempt at learning how to sew was in 2013. That was when I bought my first sewing machine, blindly walked into Hobbycraft and bought a sewing machine and some random fabric that I didn't know how to work with. Well, I didn't have a, a clue about fabrics at all. I remember calling my sister-in-law and saying, hey sis, I bought a sewing machine. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think um, I will learn as I go. <laughs> I would really love to know everyone's um, stories and everyone's reasons for getting into how to sew clothes. I bought that sewing machine back then, I say back then, it's only 2013. I was, I think I was in my third, yeah, third year of teaching in an inner London primary school. I still am. <laughs> um, I would normally spend Saturdays and Sundays when I'm done with everything that I have to do and just like sit down and just practice how to sew. There was a DVD that came with the sewing machine. I plug it into the laptop and just follow the instructions really. And that's that was really the beginning of it all. Half terms, Easter holidays, Christmas holidays. Whenever I had spare time, I would try to do one project or two. As we know, people have different hobbies they like to do and some hobbies not so good <laughs> and some hobbies extremely expensive some people are into fast cars some people are into football Every, you know, everyone likes everyone likes what they like some people are into photography we all have these different hobbies and before i even thought about entering the sewing bee and thinking about ways that i could you know monetize a skill it was really a hobby and it's still a hobby to me i just have to sep have a separation between sewing for work and sewing as a hobby Hobby. So having a conversation with my mom, I really wanted to learn a skill. I wanted to have a hobby. I wanted something to do to wind down after work and it just wasn't going to be baking or cooking because I don't like cooking. I can cook, I can bake, but I don't enjoy it unless I bake for people. No. <laughs> so um, yeah, I was having a conversation with my mom, thinking about all the different things that I could try to do. I just knew that I wanted to do something with my hands and sewing was something that I thought, I, I'm actually up for the challenge. Let me try it out. I really also liked the fact that I can make garments that nobody else would have or maybe just a few people but um, I could have because I love my fabric I love my vibrant African wax fabrics and all other types of fabrics as well just being having that freedom to choose a fabric and go I want to make this out of this and then this is what I'm going to do really motivated me to take it further and actually learn it properly and and dedicate to the time to learning it I was so blind I didn't know half the things. I didn't know anything really. I watched a lot of videos. I bought lots of books. I um, read a lot of blog posts because back then blog posts were a lot more popular than YouTube videos. A reason why a person could decide to learn how to sew might be because shop bought clothes 
might just not fit right. I give you an example. I just always struggle with buying pairs of trousers for my body type or my body shape and um, trousers would look horrible at the back. Even up until today, I just struggle buying trousers from shops. I think just being able to make the clothes out fit your specific body and your needs is just ideal really. In addition to having the freedom of wearing clothes that are in the fabrics that you really want or being able to wear clothes that fit your body, another reason to think about you know, learning the skill or um, having a hobby of making clothes is the mental health benefits of it. We all know that there are benefits of the mindful act of actually making clothes with no pressure, just sitting there and mindfully doing different tasks repeatedly or not repeatedly it's it has a calming effect especially when you know you have no distractions around you and you just want to focus on you know the the i know it might seem really random or the mundane task of just cutting fabric snipping into fabrics watching the needle just stitch along you could get lost in it and it's quite um relaxing it's got its rea relaxing effects i'm not a mental health expert but i know that um making clothes or you know any like knitting crafting really has its mental health benefits and that wasn't a reason for me to learn how to sew but i enjoyed the benefits of it when i actually started to sew. I, my, my early days of, of teaching in a primary school were very very difficult and I remember coming into our dining room which is my sewing room now to just sew to unwind in the evening especially when my husband's watching football because I'm not really a football fan and those memories of just coming in here and making something, learning a new, new way of doing something, learning about darts or just was my it was very very good for me to just switch off from work and not think too hard about all the difficulties of the day and then imagine doing that with a cup of tea or a glass of wine or having a podcast well a podcast back then mm, not really but um having a video you know having something in the background or listening to the radio it was just the next thing is that um okay so you know you get to a point in life where you're like um everything's just going smoothly or everything's just happening um i'm into routine life just goes by day by day um and i need a challenge or i need something different i just need something to you know just spice things up i think sewing helped me to just um break out of my routine if that makes sense and i think i enjoyed the challenge of um solving problems because i all i fell into lots and lots of um, problems with learning how to sew so many mistakes things that i didn't know the answer to and um, i think it, that challenge um was quite i enjoyed the challenge i must say i really enjoyed it because like um, oh, I see something that I really like. I want to make it, but I, I try. You know, obviously, you use a, uh, you know, a scrap piece of fabric to try it, and it just doesn't look right. But you see the way it looks in shop, bo shop bought clothes, and they look just very well made. And you get tempted to unpick the shop bought clothes to see how it works. I mean, generally, the challenge of making clothes um, can be another reason for wanting to make clothes, or the challenge that you face or the challenge of learning something new um, could be another reason for a person to get into wanting to learn how to make clothes. So I think um, along the line, the challenge spurred me to keep it. This next one might not be, uh, <laughs> this one, next one might not really be, um, you know, a favorite with lots of people, but being able to alter clothes is another reason why you might want to learn how to sew. Knowing that I can fix something that's broken in the last minute. Say for example, I, actually the other day we were supposed to uh, attend an event, myself and my husband. His zipper broke. Luckily I could fix it for him. And I think just, just having that skill of being able to fix um, clothes or alter clothes that aren't your size because of something like weight loss or... Um, it, 
let's say for example it's a hand-me-down from a child to the other or you bought something from a, a thrift shop charity shop or you have to wear something for an event whatever it is and um, just knowing that you have that skill that you can apply to make your clothes fit better and look better it's just it's a bonus isn't it or upcycle bigger clothes or smaller clothes change them around alter them make them different altering clothes is not a big favorite of mine it's not a favorite of a lot of people some people do t try to take it for granted to throw their damaged clothes at you or well, not throw but they expect for you to be able to snap a finger and you're able to fix a broken item of clothing it's actually really really tricky because you have to unpick the whole thing and you know fix whatever the problem is and then put it back to the way it was I don't enjoy it i can do it but i don't enjoy it This next reason that I'm about to mention has to do with my culture where during special events, special occasions, people are given fabrics to make something for themselves. Over where I live, lots of people struggle to find people to make clothes for them. Either that or it's hard to commute from one city to the other, to have your measurements taken for alterations to be made and things like that it's quite a hassle or it's just expensive and um, being able to sew just gives you that freedom to make yourself whatever you want to wear for the event and no one else would have something that looks like yours um well you have the same fabric but it'll be different different designs so another reason to have a go at just learning the skill of making clothes is um having that ability to make garments for special occasions I hope that makes sense. I really enjoy making clothes. You can tell I'm wearing something I've made. Uh, I just it's just, it just gives me so much joy. I am so grateful that I made that decision in 2013. I want to know the reasons why you got into sewing and the reasons why other people could have a go at learning how to sew. Some people um, learn how to sew, but then things happen in life that cause them to drop the skill because. They physically can't do it they can't do it mentally or just different reasons you know um, but I'll just love to hear your story I don't know if I've exhausted my story but I think in future videos I'll share a bit more about how I really got to the points that I am now in my sewing journey there are times when I lose my sojo my mojo generally All the gratitude behind being able to sew really does help me um, I'm able to remind myself about the benefits that I get from being able to sew and it keeps me going. Yeah, I hope I've motivated one or two people. If I have, then my job here is done. Try to share this video with anyone who you think is thinking about it or who's just uh, mentioned it to you. If they watch this video, it might just spur, give them that extra push to take it seriously and learn how to make their own clothes. Oh, did I forget the sustainable aspect of it, even though it's a bit controversial? controversial and people think um, people who make clothes aren't actually being sustainable that's another conversation for another day maybe we'll have that conversation in another video let me know if you want to chat about it I'm not an expert but I'll try to say what I know about sustainability with making clothes well, I, I, if you ask me I think it's more sustainable than fast fashion obviously it is I need to go because I've started to ramble right if you have an iron in mat that needs changing or recovering go ahead and recover it because those things can collect um, some dirt after a while and they need to be replaced because I'm sure the dirt can get transferred from one piece of fabric onto your garment. Shut up Juliet. Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry that's such a rubbish ending. Take care everyone. I'll see you in my next one. Enjoy the rest of your day and, and take care. All the best. Bye.